We started this work a few years ago because we've been looking at a lot of location-related things in research, trying to understand how people behave in terms of where they go. Basically, if you put a grid on the world, in each grid cell, we could detect uh, spikes of tweets. Depending on how high the spike is, perhaps that's an event. That's sort of our first step of machine learning. Our second step is to use a binary classifier to understand if that spike is actually a local event or if it's honestly just garbage tweets. This led to a whole other research topic to produce an accurate spam classifier for tweets. Our artificial intelligence decides which of these spikes is an actual local event and it works with about 80% accuracy. Analyzing tweets in real time like this means we also get a more personal perspective, including events that wouldn't be in the regular news. You can see things, you can be a part of things that you may have had no idea were going on. With research, design, and development all working together, you collaborate in a way where you build off each other's ideas and perspectives. Early on, we were focused on creating a really engaging experience from groupings of raw geotag text. As the project continued, we were able to get more data types and better data. This has been a really satisfying project because we took it from just an idea through the research, publishing and patenting it, and then working with the developers and testers and program management here in Microsoft Research to actually put it out as a really nice demo that, that people can see. It is very capturing. We would have meetings together and have the PPI running in the background. and. You know, there'd be certain lulls in the meetings where all, all of us would just get sucked into our own work. So I think it, it has a very captivating aspect of uh, knowing what's going on.